Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit special and include a very special guest. He's lying on my lap, so it's not a big guest. <laughs> it's my cat. So I have seen this little video going around YouTube where your animal picks your makeup. Oh, and I'd seen little thumbnails of the video. Didn't think much of it, but then I watched Kathleen Light's video and I thought it was really sweet. I'm going to link it down below. And I just thought, yes, it's time for my cat to actually be a little bit of a helper. He loves just being in everything I'm doing. He wants to sniff everything. He wants to, he just wants to help. <laughs> so this time I was like, you are going to get your chance, boy. You can help me. If you want to see everything that my cat picked and me putting it on my face, then keep on watching. Okay, have a pick. Ooh, that one. Thank you. Foundation. Hello. Foundation. So cool. Oh, that one? Oh, that one. Is it that one? You can pick. That one? That one. These are the two I'm unsure about because you kind of pointed at one and sniffed at the other. Could you? Hello. No. That's not what we're doing. We are on the second product. <laughs> Okay, that one. Okay, concealer. Pick one. <laughs> You're so not interested in this, huh? Oh, that one. Oh, you're in between. Oh, okay. Pick one. Pick one. Pick one. Pick one. Yeah. Pick one. Should I get them really close to you? So you have to sniff them. There we go. Which one it is? That one. Oh, that one. Oh, oh that one. That one. You, you sniff that one first. Okay, bronzer. That one. Wow. Oh, you always have to. Mm, not sure. Oh. Hey, we're not focusing on cars right now. No. Blusher. Wow, that one. Thank you. Oh, you sweet little one. Which one? Oh, that one? That one. Okay, that one. Okay. Eyeshadow palettes. Oh, wow. You're already touching one. Give it to me straight. Is that the winner? I barely just laid them out. <laughs> you have to help me choose a lipstick. There we go. No, you can't just pick the one on the end. You have to like actually think about it. Which one looks cool to you? No, 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 don't. Oh my God. You know I won't give up. You know I won't. You know I won't. Pick one. Oh, okay. Oh, we got some. Oh. Which one? He did sniff the orange one a long time. Is it this one? Oh, it is this one. This little guy has been helping me pick out my makeup. So the first product my cat picked up for me is the Primark. This is gonna feel so weird saying that the whole video. But yeah, my cat picked this one. This is the Color Corrector Primer from Primark and it has an SPF of 30. I think that must be it. He knows how much I love my SPF. The only thing with this primer is that I don't feel like it does much else than just color correcting. And for me, color correcting is not my biggest issue. It's more making my makeup last or filling in my pores. So it's not really the perfect primer for me, but we'll let this one slide. Next up, he picked up the Rimmel Fresher Skin SPF 15 breathable natural finish foundation. So I have tried this one in one of my videos. It did not go down very well. I don't love it. It's just not really a foundation I would go for, but I think every foundation deserves more than one chance. So we are giving it, oh, there's hairs everywhere. This is the problem with filming with my little helper. I'm just gonna use my little stipple brush to stipple this all over. And then we'll see what we're gonna blend it in with. So with my sponge, so that is the foundation done. It is a very like light coverage. 
that is for sure because it did not cover everything but I did like it more than I did the first time I feel like because I'm like not hating it it's just it doesn't cover the things that I want to be covered like I have redness on my cheeks and I can see redness and when if I have a little blemish thing which I have right there he's not covered at all so it doesn't have great coverage but it does feel better than I remember it. And then for concealer, he picked up the Luminae Nordic Chic Under Eye Concealer. He thinks mommy has a little bit of under eyes that she needs to take care of, so he made sure it said under eye concealer. But yeah, I quite like this one. I just feel like this is one of those that I would like to have another concealer with, you know? I would first go in with this and kind of cover everything up the blueness darkness under my eyes whatever you want to call it and then i would go in with like a more brightening concealer than this and i guess i'm gonna have to try to cover some blemishes with an under eye concealer as well but yeah then just blending this in with the sponge as well at least i think it's pretty good at brightening up under eyes and then he picked up the name that i still can't pronounce after all these videos Simon, Simon, something, the perfect pore packed. We're gonna use this and set our face because I feel like that foundation and that concealer is both very sticky. <laughs> and then just stippling it in because I don't want to move anything underneath since it's a little bit sticky. I just want to set it in place. Moving on to eyes, he was a little bit unclear, but I think he wanted us to use the ColourPop and give it to me straight. I guess he's into these kinds of what are these pinkish purplish orangey shades the first shade I'm gonna use is the one at the bottom which is called the truth hurts it's nice I feel like good transition shade but it still has that kind of orangey in it so, so I'm taking it on a large fluffy brush and just applying it in the crease and dragging it a little bit up now on a smaller fluffier brush i'm gonna take the color frank and we're gonna focus this on the outer corners trying to deepen everything up so i'm doing it kind of as in a little v down here at the ends but still blending everything so it's of course smooth and no harsh lines now i'm gonna deepen it up even further with the color actually down at the bottom and doing the same thing, but kind of being even more precise with the color now and not like fluffing it around as much, but still focusing on that V right here at the outer corner and trying to make this the darkest and most like intense part of the eye look. And then I think we should try some fun new colors like this one called uh, Candid. Never tried this one, but I think he's a little bit too dark for what I want, so I might dip into up front. And then taking just the lighter shade and popping him in like the inner corner, kind of brightening that area. Now for brows, he chose the Wonder Brow. Ooh, this one I do like to kind of use as, hmm, how should I say, kind of like a topper. Like I fill in my brows with like a brow pencil and then I might go in with this because this is supposed to be waterproof and last all day and stuff like that. But yeah, I just find it quite hard to just work with this alone because like considering that you could just fill in with this, I just think that would end up looking quite badly. A little bit messy basically. I would just want something that is a little bit more dry and doesn't glide everywhere. But this is what he chose. And I also feel like you need to be very careful with this one. And I'm just used to like filling in my brows in a matter of seconds and not caring about what I'm doing at all. Moving on to bronzer, he picked up the Essence Luminous Matte. He must have seen me use this a million times. I really love it. So I'm going to pop it on my little Real Techniques brush and just give my face a little bit of a bronze. Next up, he picked up the W7 Candy Floss. This is a beautiful blusher. I've used this so much, like I've hit pan 
majorly but this is just a very light pink fleshy blusher I wouldn't have chosen pink for the eyes and the lips that are coming but you know we can't really be picky when it's a cat that's choosing can we and I mean the good thing with this blush is that it's very light so it kind of just looks like a normal flush from within it looks like you're kind of blushing so you can't really tell like oh she's wearing pink like it isn't that obvious he did however pick up cream highlighter and I kind of forgot and I have now set my whole face and there's powders everywhere so we'll see how this one goes but this is the face talk home highlighter in dignity I've talked about this in was it a favorite it's just a beautiful cream highlight that is pretty much the face done I love it it's a few of my absolute favorite products so I mean he did good I did put in a few of things that I didn't really want to use like you know the Benetint and I was like he's probably gonna go for that just because it's round and he can he can push it off the table but no he chose products that I actually really enjoy so loved the highlighter it blended in well nice even though I had powder my face but now it's time for mascara and he chose the one that I've been using so much recently. This is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara, so my cat knows me. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a normal coat of mascara. I'm not gonna put on falses or anything like that because this look is just for me at home. That is pretty much the eyes done. They are quite I feel like my t style but the lips are still a little bit darker than I would normally go for and it's a little bit more orangey but I'm quite okay with them he did pick a good palette however for lips first of all he was done by when we came to lips he was like I'm done I'm done with you and your silly ideas but I had to chase him down with the lipsticks but I think he chose the H&M lipstick in fire brand so it is just orange that's all i can say it's orange i feel like with this i just i just want to line my lips this is the essence lip liner in 11 in the nude so i'm just going to lightly line my lips So this is the finished result. What do you guys think? Did he do a good job? I actually thought when I first saw the products he was picking, he was picking a yellow primer. He was picking the foundation I didn't like. He picked a concealer that I thought I couldn't use on my own. Like on its own, I mean. And I was just like, oh, how is this going to go? But then he kind of stepped it up. He was like, this bronzer, this, this blusher and this highlighter, all of which are my favorites. So, I mean, yeah, he just threw in a curveball with the orange lip, but I must say, I'm quite loving it. I want you guys to comment down below which of my boys did you think did a better job, my boyfriend or my cat. So yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe so you can be subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. Did you enjoy it? Were you just tired? Oh, bless you. Did I wake you up? Hmm? Did mommy wake you up?